an unjustified price hike that occurred quickly. How likely is it that Ripple will be ordered to pay a penalty less than the $770 million it was fined when it was found guilty? Initially, the corporation paid this fee. Do you think you're crucial to the system that keeps the community growing? The final question is, why is XRP rising in value? And will Ripple surge soon see a major change for XRP? If you want to learn more about this issue, stay until the end of this discourse. As the cryptocurrency business matures, free markets will determine which cryptocurrencies succeed. The market capitalization of the top assets usually changes along with this position change. View these ranks here. XRP is now the fourth most valued cryptocurrency, surpassing Binance Coin, according to Coin Market Cap. XRP overtook Binance Coin as the most valuable cryptocurrency. This information came from the visiting website. When XRP overtook Binance Coin, this goal was met. The coin market cap was our main source for this investigation. XRP is worth $37.2 billion, surpassing BNB. XRP closed the gap between its market value and BNBs in the past week after a 22% price rise. The XRP price increase enabled this. The Bitcoin Cash hard fork raised XRP demand, causing this. This occurred at the same time as previous events. XRP currently has a market value of $37.2 billion, surpassing BNB's $37.1 billion. Recently, XRP has outperformed BNB in market value. BNB climbed after struggling to stay up with the market since a bullish wave returned in October. Since a bullish wave returned in October, BNB has struggled to keep up. October saw the market's bullish wave resurface. Technical and fundamental indicators suggest it should keep rising. These signs suggest it should rise. XRP and BNB are almost ready to decide who will become the fourth most valuable cryptocurrency. Over the past 24 hours, BNB has been down 0.12% to $244. This is down from $246. Since January, XRP has gained 10%. XRP's value has risen partly because Ripple has won several legal battles with the SEC. Ripple faces US Securities and Exchange Commission problems. This is because Ripple is involved in these battles. Ripple has won two legal cases thanks to judges' rulings. Initially, XRP did not meet the qualifications to be considered a security when exchanged on a secondary market. XRP failed the standards, hence, this conclusion was made. The second ruling overturns the SEC's appeal of a major decision from an earlier case. This appeal questioned the previous verdict. This unexpected turn of events has boosted investors' confidence in achieving a mutually advantageous agreement soon. The regulatory authorities may have dropped their accusations against Ripple CEOs Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Lars after the company suffered two setbacks. The company had two setbacks. Ripple employed Chris Lars and Brad Garlinghouse. Due to their inability to reach a resolution, Binance and the SEC's legal battles have made little progress. Very little progress has been made. Because of this, the probe has made little progress. In June, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, sued Binance and its CEO, Xiao Pang Xiao, for violating securities industry regulations. The SEC accused Binance of deceiving investors with its Bitcoin trading platform. The SEC claimed the case was filed in violation of the Securities Act. Although the cryptocurrency market has been improving in recent months, BNB's price has dropped dramatically as a result of this move, which has slowed its growth. XRP has risen more than 100% since the start of the year, while BNB has fallen 1%. After starting the year at 33 cents, XRP is now around 68 cents. You must subscribe to our channel and select the notification button. You must not ignore this request. Please do not ignore this request. Thank you for helping me. Sign up for our email here to be the first to hear about XRP's latest developments. Sentiment, a cryptocurrency analysis platform, reports that XRP's value has risen 8.87% in the past two days to its highest level since August 2nd. This data was collected. After XRP reached its peak, this happened shortly after. This surge is due to XRP reaching its highest level since August 2nd. This was a recent achievement. This position was vacated on August 2nd. Bitcoin's worth has increased dramatically over the past three months, lowering its price to 67 cents. XRP appears to grow independently of Bitcoin's market share. XRP has risen 23% compared to Bitcoin in the past week. XRP's market value has risen 8.6%, and 
and trade volume has risen 157.6% in the past 24 hours, indicating widespread growth. The data shows that 45.8% of the supply comes from XRP wallets with 100,000 to 1 billion tokens. The remaining 14.2% are wallets with fewer than 100,000 tokens. The fact that this proportion is larger than any previous figure makes it a record high for this time of year. The unpredictable growth in the number of XRP holders from August 12 to the present day from approximately the middle of August until the present day from approximately the middle of August until the present day the mood map shows that social media discussions regarding XRP peaked around mid-July. The chart was created then. This aligns with XRP's price rise. In August and October, Ripple Labs won a lawsuit against the SEC, which improved public sentiment about XRP. Whales are also betting on the XRPL's future because it seems to have a lot of potential. Possibilities like this are what drive whale investment in the XRPL's future. They are numerous worldwide. Additionally, the XRP community needs expert legal representation. Attorney John Dion has continued to predict the CCV Ripple litigation's remedy phase conclusion. The SEC's July 13 order for $770 million in penalties may not apply to Ripple. The court found Ripple's institutional XRP sales illegal. The SEC wants this punishment because the court ruled that Ripple sales of XRP to institutional clients were prohibited. Dion tweeted yesterday that Ripple will pay less as penalties rather than punishment. He said that he expected less than $1 million. The source of the $770 million controversy must also be highlighted. It's notable that Ripple's counsel, Dion, observed that the SEC's earlier arguments could lessen their violation penalty. This may result. If Dion is trusted, 95% of Ripple's XRP sales will likely occur outside the US, according to SEC files. Due to their potential, these filings were made. Dion noted that an amazing $70 million of the $770 million in XRP sold to institutional clients will take place outside the US. Institutional clients bought $770 million in XRP. He raised a crucial issue. After subtracting $131.5 million, the gain would be $38.5 million. After paying the fines, Ripple's counsel, Dion, said the company will try to reduce the penalty by deducting reasonable business expenses. It will happen after the fines are paid. This will happen once the corporation pays all its financial obligations, including fines. According to Dion, the SEC will not be able to explain the amount of resources spent on the Ripple probe. This is because the SEC investigated the Ripple scandal for so long. This estimate is based on the assumption that the SEC will be unable to justify the resources invested. Dion made this comment hours after scolding crypto people for blaming the SEC and winning a battle with the council representing XRP holders 50-50 vote. Dion won a battle with a 50-50 council of XRP holders. He also mentioned the XRP holders voting rights. Another successful step by Dion was criticizing crypto enthusiasts who accused the SEC of unlawful activity. A 90 to 10 vote count favored the blockchain corporation, according to the verdict. A pro XRP lawyer indicated Ripple may win 99.9% of the SEC case if it pays $20 million or less. The pro XRP attorney predicted this. This was addressed in the context of Ripple's expected penalty. Our thinking was that the SEC would determine that the corporation had broken one or more of its regulations, thus, this action was taken. This assumption drove us to this decision. I must inform you that the SEC action against Ripple is underway in Remy. Doing so is crucial to me. I must do this because it's crucial. The court has set a deadline of November 9th or earlier for the parties to prepare a joint remedy briefing schedule. The court requires the parties to meet this deadline. Those who miss this deadline will be in contempt of court. In the event that the parties cannot reach an agreement by the deadline, they must submit a joint briefing to avoid being punished. This is the only method to avoid deadline penalties. Jeremy Hogan's new perspective, which was fascinating from a modern perspective, enhanced the conversation. Attorney Hogg stated that the court had ruled that any discouragement must be equitable to the SEC. This was about the case being heard. Hogan added that Ripple will deduct its permissible business expenditures from the $700 million to $70 million penalty. He said it was due to what transpired. We appreciate your attention, this presentation will conclude. We hope you enjoyed yourself.